Hello guys, welcome back to Stoneheart, we Banto. So we're back here with our town Arcus, and I've done a few things since the, the latest video. I added a little bit of grass up here, where our castle is, and, and I also finished the wall for this. So the castle area, it's pretty much done, and we might add like a few small decorations and stuff like that later on. But uh, this is what we got so far, and we're working towards putting out the last of the gongs here, so that will be... You know, pretty much finish the campaign against the goblins, so that's really something I want to do. And that might be the end of Arcus, and then after that, we're probably gonna start with a new city, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to begin with something new. I really love the creating this city, but I think this is coming to an end, but I really enjoyed making this castle. I think it turned out so nice. I hope you guys like it as well, so it was a lot of effort to build that thing. So what we need to do now is go to the blacksmith and we need to craft the last of the gongs which should be the general yeah, the general is the one that we haven't put out we got the master we got the elite one and the scout going and if you wonder where you're missing these things i was recording this the file got corrupted and that's the reason why you guys are sadly missing a few things and i didn't want to redo it again so we're continuing from where the video ended that was supposed to be here so that's just what happens sometimes when we record stuff, something gets screwed up and we just have to go and move on after it. A wagon carrying assortment of armor approaches. So we got a bunch of different armors here, I'm not sure if we really need any, I don't think so. We can buy like a spiky quiver if we might need that. And also by the way, I'm gonna try to focus mostly now on YouTube by the way. I'm gonna still do live streams, but... YouTube is gonna come first and after that we will see how many live stream I can get going each week so we will see how that's gonna go so hopefully that's gonna flow on faster soon again because I know there have been quite a lack of episodes recently so hopefully pretty soon that's gonna get on steady how it's supposed to be very, very soon again so we got the general golden gong here we're gonna put it out I'm gonna put it right next to that thing so right next to the first one. So I'm putting them here because I think that's like a nice decoration. And when we're putting these out, we're increasing like the difficulty. We're pretty much getting more enemies around and it gets a lot harder. And I think this one or one perhaps after this one is the last one. That's gonna be interesting to see if Arkans can fight that. I think we can. We have 10 soldiers. So we should be doing pretty good I'd say. And let me know also guys, if you have suggestions for the next town, like kind of what theme you want us to go for that, let me know and I will be checking that out and we will see what we can do. So while they're busy adding the gong there, I'm gonna keep adding some more roads here. We're using the dark mountain mist, we want to connect this to the stairs, so... Make everything flow together nicely, so we're gonna do the same thing for this side. Let's see how far we went out, we went out five I think, six of them, okay. So six there, and then we go five. Was it really five there? Maybe it was. Yep. So we're gonna bring them together. So maybe when we go out, this one went out five there, and this one I think is six. Seven. Okay, so if we maybe remove two of these, then we make this a little bit thinner. Perhaps we have a road like that. Connect this thing here. And we might also might uh, do something special here. We could make so it will connect in the middle there, but I think this can be nice. We could kind of make it a little bit curvy thing here, like that, to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit less super straight. But I think maybe maybe we can remove one there, one this side, one here, just to create a little bit more shape to it. That is pretty nice, it looks pretty good. I see that the last general gong is actually put out, which means that we should be getting some pretty dangerous admins coming in very soon. A troop of orcs walks towards you in perfect synchrony. So long it has been since we have seen the purple glimmer of general's token. The red kin would stand to benefit from fighting or foes such as yourself. That being said, we are not to be underestimated. We have fought more beasts and creatures than your settlement could even conceive of. I look forward to our fight. Me too, man. They just approaching. So that's a pretty big group, guys. A lot of orcs. Wow, we have people out here. Why do they have to stand right next to them? So there's a lot of people. I think we might lose someone. Let's see where our troops are. 
I'm gonna try to move them together here. They're not super good with uh, going together often. See, one knight is kind of ahead of everyone. I'm trying to move my troops. Come here, guys. Let's see who we're gonna take out first. Let's take maybe one of these uh, orcs. I'm not sure if we should go for orc first or if we could go for like an ogre. They should be dealing quite a lot of damage to the enemy since they have quite a few archers. Oh, they have a healer. Let's take him. If there's a healer, you're gonna take the healer. I'm gonna send some help out to these guys. Can remove the town alert. I think only one of our guys got struck down, so the blood defender got struck down and we have to help him. Let's see here, I don't know, maybe we should take an archer. Like, they deal so much damage, but other ones also deal quite a bit. I have a hard time to choose which one I want to kill of these guys. The thing is, those, those archers have a lot of health. Maybe we take one of the ogres, they're pretty weak, like the normal ones. The guy with the armor, he's a little bit stronger, but the guy without it is pretty weak. Let's see, this guy should be a damage dealer, like a footman pretty much. Trying to take them out first, so as you can see the tanks, they do have the shields. I'm gonna use this potion. Could be good, more health for my people. Don't use them so often, but they're really useful. Like, if you use them in the correct way, they can be super useful. Okay, so one more orc going down. Let's take that over, let's take him out so we don't have to see him blocking everyone, vision of everyone. And they should be saving this guy soon, the blood defender. I think there are just too many people in the way for the moment. Let's take this guy. Then I think it's only just two more archers left. Oh, we didn't kill all of them. Do they still have a healer around? Almost feels like oh, they have a healer. Their camp is still here with some ogres and archers also. We have to head over there eventually. Let's take this orc also, so we can focus only pretty much on uh, their arches. And it is super important, like, when playing this, to get some arches with spiky quivers, which uh, slows the enemy down. It's so important, it helps so much to have it. There we got him, let's go after this guy. Where do you think you're going, man? Not going anywhere, Bando's gonna take you! Okay, there we go. Let's launch an attack on the camp. We want to take them out as fast as we can. Should be pretty scared from us. Should be fearing Banta's troops. I'm gonna go for the... Oh, they have a healer. Okay, let's take the healer again. But after that, I might actually go for one of the archers. Let's go for an archer. They are hitting my, my healers and my archers in the back, these guys. Ogre is hitting them. And one thing that I have been thinking about doing is uh, to do another bio mod. Uh, which we have... Uh, we have a lot of different ones. So it might be the Archipelago, so we might be checking that out. There are some pretty interesting ones, so let me know guys what you would like to see for like a future Stoneheart Town, like a theme for it. Or would you like to see a few more mods, uh, like more bio mods? They're really awesome, really cool. The orc respectfully bows at the outcome of the battle. I commend you on your victory. You have proven yourself a skilled and honorable foe. For us, there are many roads of advancement. This is but one, yet fruitful in itself. Perhaps you would not understand what the opportunity this experience was, has given us. This period of political upheaval, but that matters not, the warship will wish to meet you again. For now, I bid you well, human. So, this should not be the last of it. They will arrive later on and we're gonna get more attacks coming, but for now we have made all of the gongs, I think. I don't think there are more of them. Now we just have to wait, sit and wait for the last part of the orc goblin campaign. That was nice, we had good success there. So this road, I think we should put to build it. Our workers haven't built anything in a long time now. I have a hundred bricks, so that should be enough for building the road there. And we're probably gonna add some outline to this later on as well. I would perhaps want to add more houses to this town. But the thing is, like when you get a big town as I do have here, the game starts to run pretty slow. So this town, I definitely feel... Like it's running slow, but I mean, like, this town is enormous. I, I really love this. Looks so nice. Like, we have been working on this for such a long time, building all these houses. I remember all the steps that we did with this. 
I really enjoyed making this bazaar, it was nice to have that as a center of this town. But uh, let's see if we can approve a few things, and we're gonna check with the food. I think we can maybe maintain more, maybe not, wow. I'm a bit surprised by that we are not keeping more vegetables. Let's check the farmers. They're not like moving resources, so maybe we need like more farming, but like there's almost nothing growing here. Wow. It looks like we perhaps need more farmers, or the farmers are not doing what they're supposed to do. Let's maybe get two more farmers, so let's go for Rai here. Let's go for one more, so we can get the farming sped up a bit. Maybe Raya here will be helping with a little bit of farming. And when we start the next new town, I will also start a brand new name list, so all the names when I make that one will be removed, and then we will do a new name, name list from the beginning, and everyone can suggest names and such for the new town. I'm not gonna open for new names until we start that next village. So they have dug it out there, that's nice. I wonder if there's anything we can improve our troops. Like maybe we could, we could maybe get like, would be cool to get like a footman. Because we only have like, actually we do have two footmans. Four of archers, two footmans, two knights and two clerics. Don't really have anyone good for being a soldier now anyway, so we're gonna stay with that. Oh, the blood defender. We still haven't helped him. I did click this before, he's gonna be dead. I'm not sure where that disappeared, I did click it before, maybe got struck down twice. So I'm sorry the blood defender, I think you are sadly, sadly screwed man. Ooh, they're picking up, I'm not sure if he will survive. Maybe he will regain health now when our cleric is carrying him. We will see, let's see what's gonna happen, going into our barrack now. We are bringing the blood defender to this home here. I think he's gonna die though, we'll see though. Raiding here with exotic goods. I can trade anything for the moment. Wow, the blood defender. I think you might actually be. I think you might actually survive. Wow. Oh, I definitely thought you were screwed. I definitely thought you were screwed, man. So let's perhaps see if we can do anything more. Like, I'm pretty sure we can make like better bows. I was trying to do that many times, but we need to get the, the copter up a level to be able to make the recurve bow. Can check the carpenter again, but I do not think we have the levels yet. No, we don't. Let's see how close we are to get up level with the never know Veronica Mars it is. So like 200 XP away, that's it's kind of far away considering we don't have that much wood around, but I'm growing quite a bit of trees here. So let's maybe harvest a few. These ones are a little bit more well grown, so they should give a little bit more wood than the smaller ones does. Perhaps we should put out a few more of the trees. We're gonna put them here fairly fairly close to the town, really like clogged together here. Creating a little dense forest. I hope the new farmers is gonna help quite a bit. We're gonna change them also. If we go to the farmers, we're gonna remove the hole so they will not be carrying around resources. Is we're getting invaders, this might actually be Oh, this is just a normal invasion. Let's bring my troops out here. Seems like we had quite a few out here already, that's nice. Let's take this guy. And after that guy, we're gonna take one of the healers. Would be awesome if all of the enemies was this weak as the healers. <laughs> You're so easy to kill, really. I really enjoy having these... Um, Footmans, because they have this awesome cleave attack. I really love that one. Like, archers are really, really, really cool and useful, but, um, like, I really love the footmans. Like, the, the power spike deal double damage, and they do have a cleave attack. I'm not sure if they can combine the cleave attack with uh, the double damage or not. I don't think they can, but uh, that would be freaking crazy. It would be so OP. So, one last little archer out there. This is when he realized he's crude and left alone against Banto's huge enormous army. Hey, some archers come up and slow him down, there we go. They can burn, make him suffer.
Awesome, we defeated them, nice. So this is looking really, really dense here, so much forest. We might chop down the ones in the city perhaps as well. Let's see what the comp, maybe we can craft some more things. Not sure what this is, some unknown thing. So craft two of those, maybe there's some bug with it. I'm gonna remove it because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So let's put um, perhaps to do... We are making some windows though. I'm gonna make yeah, a few crates. Maybe we can make a few of these leather bound chests. Just want to do a couple of things so we can get up in levels pretty much. That should give a little bit of XP for crafting. So something you notice like when you have a bigger town like I have here, it really takes forever them to do the smallest task. Like it takes forever just to build this simple road here. That's pretty interesting. That's like the thing when I, I get far. I love making big beautiful cities. But I also really do not enjoy when the game starts to like slow down so. But this is like the outline color we're gonna have. So I'm gonna add it around for now. Don't think it should cause any troubles, I hope not. There we go, I think I got all of it covered up there. So we're gonna build this, it's gonna be two more bricks. So really cheap and it should be fast through, but it isn't going very fast, is it? Let's see what people are doing, digging foundations. I put uh, three guys also to be doing other things. So the Blood Defender, he's trying to heal up, but uh, Takaya and S Sarah, they're tr they not supposed to be building anything, so they I just want them to move around resources pretty much. And a bit surprised by my farmers, they're doing such a bad work with this. How many farms do I have? They only have three fields. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six farmers can't even put up more than... yeah. Six farmers, three fields. So I think something is pretty weird with it. It's like they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Like here's one farm running around, not sure what he's doing. They get a little bit stupid, like once they get a pretty big town they get pretty... not so smart. But hopefully Alpha 21 is gonna help with that. Because uh, they're changing things with the pathfinding and hopefully that will also make the AI a little bit more clever sometimes. These guys are still spawning here. I don't know, maybe maybe we just want to make a path there so we can actually get them. Like maybe we just make a ladder in the back here. Oh, they disappeared again. I was gonna make a ladder there so they can go down from there. Because this also screws up the pathfinding a little bit. So adding that ladder is gonna be able to add that one. Like they're not really supposed to spawn here, like it's like there's no point for them to spawn there because they have no access to get my town, so it's really weird that they're even spawning there. You can see that there's a lot of time that it seems like they're not doing anything. I think this field is maybe even bugged. It says they're harvesting it, but they're not taking anything. I think this thing is bugged. The Litsu grass, let's remove that. I think this is the thing that's screwing it up for me. I have to, I have to remove this thing. This thing seems to screw it up. So I think once I remove that, it's gonna go way better. Screw the little grass, hopefully I'm not growing it anywhere else. Go make sure. Okay, we're not growing a little grass. That was really weird. So I found probably the reason for this. That's so nice, so now the farm is hopefully gonna be useful again. Look at that, they're actually planting stuff, and look at the speed of it. This is how farms are supposed to be. Oh, a thief approaches. Oh, they spawn here. Okay, this time they should be able to go to me at least. Sure, maybe we bring our soldiers here, yeah, so we can defeat them. Like, we, we could, like, ignore this camp, but I think we maybe have to... Maybe have to destroy this camp for them to stop spawning up here and once we destroy this and we remove the ladders and everything they will not be able to spawn there anymore. Because before they spawned here, yeah, because we had a like we had ladders going up here, so I think that was the reason for it. So the food is going down. That's a clear sign that the, the farmers was screwed up before. Look at them! Look at the speed! 
Going so much better. Elia Boxen arrived. Uh, wow, this is pretty good to buy bricks actually. I have quite a bit of gold, so I'm not sure if we need the bricks now, but uh, still good to have. We never know, we might need them. So I wonder when this uh, new enemy is gonna arrive. I wanna fight uh, the last campaign boss for this. A dangerous goblin. Okay, let's bring my troops over here. Just so we can kill them directly when we get the ladder going. So our cleric was the first one, that's kind of weird. Normally the cleric are like the last one because normally they are the slowest, they have the least amount of body and they do not have like a first responder sprint thing like in the footman has. Okay, there we go, now we just have to go up here and we have to destroy this. The last goblin there and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna remove uh, the ladder up to this place. Okay, there we go. So once they're down, let's bring them away from here. Then we're gonna remove this ladder. So remove that first, then we'll remove this one. This coal, it looks almost green. That's interesting. And here's a farmer trying to get away from work. Mr. Kotz, what are you doing out here? Get back to work. Not supposed to be here, man. Oh, you don't want to go back? Should go back, man. But a goblin comes and attack you. Not sure why this last person came. I wanted to loot something. I'm gonna remove the, with this thing clear, so we don't want to loot that anymore. Even this. Ah, uh, that's not the right one. This one we want. The council task. So this person here, Asalia, get back, please. Then remove this one. So stupid, then like this person should have removed that one, but they, they, someone else in town super far away gonna do it instead. Because of reasons. This is gonna re be really interesting, guys, to see what they're gonna bring with this game for the AI, the improvements, because I think it's gonna be way better, and the performance is gonna be way better, better from what I heard about it. So I, I guess while we're waiting for them to actually come and attack us, maybe we can make a little... Something nice here, like some houses, some more houses. I think we need a few more houses. So maybe we can make it like a few small, pretty basic houses. 30 by 15 maybe. I'm even thinking maybe using like the, these normal houses, I'm not sure. The normal roofs for it. They look kind of boring also. So maybe we want to make the house a little bit more interesting. Maybe it has this little extra thing, but it goes up one more floor. That, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, like a railing thing around this. Then we can have a stair that goes up to this. Goes up there, and then we'll do a stair like that. I think that's gonna be best. Something like that, and we'll do Ekru, continue that. Pretty much all the way down here. Like that. And this could be... Not sure what we will have like for this room, if this would just be another room, or this would be some bedroom. It could be a bedroom. Like one person. Yeah, this is definitely big enough. And have one of these windows here. Maybe there should be one step lower. It's a little bit too high for the halflings. Free for this side. That's pretty interesting. We want also to have another door here. The bottom floor. So we want this to be home for another person. I think we still do not have enough uh, bed places for my people. So this will be very welcome for our people. And let's, why don't we decorate it with a um, table and some chairs? You can either sit here and have a nice dinner. And why don't we put uh, maybe the weaver a little bit to work so we can add some, add some decoration. Even a mosaic floor we can have in here, that's uh, for the potter, but it's gonna be nice. 
Psych between the bends. And a little plushie. We need the plushies. They are important. I think that's pretty good. Now we just need a few more windows. Maybe like that. A couple of windows for that side. I think that's good enough for the windows. Then we need another roof for this. Gonna keep the theme going for the color here. That's pretty nice. Very, very basic house, but a little bit more housing to our town, which I think is gonna be nice. We could maybe do some more of these things. Know that the houses normally, when you build this, they do have these. Here we go. Makes it look a little bit more interesting also. And up here, I think I wanna add some, some bench here. So I think that looks pretty good, we can let my people build this one. It's a very very basic house, but sometimes basic houses are nice. Oh, so I think the war chief Ogar Nowin has finally arrived, strides towards you with fearless bravado. So we're just gonna put it to build, it's a building, okay. So the war chief is here. As I predicted, fate brings us together once more. Defeat of my chiefs and warriors demands from us recognition of your strength. Let us contend in battle and the greater of the equals shall come forth with honor and valiance. So we're gonna have to fight them now, we're gonna bring my people together, not sure where they are. They have some kind of camp there, but that should not be them. Let's look around a bit and see if we can find the enemy. Oh, here is something. Oh, there he is. Let's, let's launch an attack in this way. Let's get everyone to go here. We're still missing a few people. So we're just gonna have to wait so we get everyone with us. I think they're gonna attack from that way. I hope they're not gonna come from any different way. Don't think we got everyone with us. Maybe we do. But yeah, they definitely have to do something with this uh, movement of your troops. It's really weird going far away. Uh, here's some battle music, but no one should be close to us. This is where we want to go. There he is, that's Warship Oga No Wind. Let's try to get everyone together here. Maybe we can destroy the house directly, there we go. Let's focus on the boss here. I think he's dealing quite a good amount of damage. Yeah, they're dealing a lot of damage to my knight there. This guy is almost dead. Look at him, he's going down. The warship nods humbly. Ardene was right about you. You are worth opponent indeed. We will not forget the strength that you have helped us gain. And I'll return home. Word comes to me that the birth of your Khan's wisdom. Our shaman has delved too far into the dark, unknowable things. Nonetheless, if you ever wish to spare again and improve your skills, put out the Anagong of the Four Colors and we will gladly return to meet your challenge. So we pretty much defeat the campaign, but I'm just gonna see so we don't get more people. Because it said invaders approaching. Oh yeah. Of course, they're coming in and out back. That's always how it works in this game. Let's rally our people. This will be the last fight here. I think maybe we should like return to our town, perhaps. The inside here going around. Severe low health. What? What did you do? And what? How did this person even get here? There's no way to access this place. That's impossible. How did this person get here? I removed the ladder, so. Must be a person that joined, or I don't know. I don't know what happened with that person. But this is what happens sometimes in this game. You just get... Um, you get invaded while you're outside fighting people. Pretty stupid. So we're gonna save all those people, but we ha I feel like we have to kill these guys first. But then we have to save everyone in town after this. Okay, so there we broke it. Now we have to return to town and we're gonna defend them. Pretty much everyone's gonna go down, I think. 
But at least they're not dying like they used to do. I could have gone back before, but I felt like... We should take out the guys we were fighting. Where's the list? So many people strike down, look at that. <laughs> have you guys ever seen so many people strike down in the same place? I don't think I have. I'm actually gonna teleport this guy away because I don't know what the game did with this. The game screws with me, I just use a command to fix it. So they should be able to save this person at least. So we're gonna put to save these guys, I hope we're gonna be able to do it. It does matter a little bit if we do have enough bends, I think, but I do think we do. Just that some of them are like outside. There we go, so I have a lot of people to carry around, good we have a big troop to do it. Yeah guys, we beat the campaign, now we just have to save all these people. So let me know guys what you think if we should be... What kind of town, if you have a theme that you want us to go for, if, or if you have any other kind of request. So we're saving everyone, hopefully not missing anyone. But guys, thanks for watching this episode of Stoneheart with Arcas and me Banto. So it has been a real pleasure building this town. It has been a struggle from time to time now in the end, but it has been really, really fun. It was really nice to make this creative things with this town so and i hope you guys also enjoyed it it seems like you guys did so so thanks for watching this series and there's gonna become a new one very soon with a brand new town so thanks for watching guys if you like the video feel free to like it and also follow me here with subscribing on my channel for new uploads in the future so guys thanks for being here hope to see you guys soon again great day and take care guys